Revenue has been dropping for three years at six Phoenix owned golf courses. Reporter Allison Gargaro visited the city's Maryvale course to see what the city is doing to chip away at the financial deficit. People began teeing off at the Maryvale golf course in Phoenix back in the 1960s. The goal was to provide residents with more affordable rounds of golf than at resorts and private clubs. Many people first picked up a club in this West Phoenix neighborhood, including Councilman Daniel Valenzuela. I would have never had an opportunity to learn to golf had it not been for a city course. Phoenix owns six golf courses open to the public. Four are in the red. Those losses reached thousands of dollars in 2015, according to the city. Uh, the uh, overall number of what's being subsidized today is about $133,000 for all six courses. And now some are, are making money, some are not making money. But two other Phoenix courses brought in more than $400,000 in 2015. The city partnered with two colleges, Grand Canyon University and Arizona State University, to reverse some of the losses. ASU now operates the Papago course, and GCU invested $12 million into renovations of the Maryville Golf Course and Clubhouse. Grand Canyon staffs the course with GCU students. Well, we have about 40 students who work between the golf shop and the restaurant, and actually the maintenance. So we have students are involved in all aspects of the golf course, along with what many of our golf management students are also involved and work in the day-to-day -day operations. Work here at the golf course, and I love it. Hey, I basically live here. The university investment is more than a financial turnaround. Renovations are driving more golfers to the courses. You never know, the next Tiger Woods may come out of Maryville because they had an opportunity to pay a few bucks and, and walk the course and and learn. In Phoenix, Allison Gargaro, Cronkite News.